Hi, welcome or welcome back to my writing channel. My name is Josie and I am currently in the process of preparing to write a thriller novel in November. I've been doing some outlining and research to prepare for it, but I really wanted to take a moment to see if I like dictation. So dictation is vo basically voice to text, so you can use your computer or a phone and you can speak into that program and it'll translate what you're saying directly into text. And it's a way to especially draft really, really fast. Um, there's been a lot of videos online that have sparked my interest where people are able to write books so, so quickly, like in a couple months, have like 100,000 words. So I really wanted to see if I could kind of join the bandwagon and use dictation. I'm right now, before I've started, my opinion is that I'll probably not succeed. Um, one, because I think it's really tough to get used to it. Even the people I think who do it, from what I've seen, they struggle at the beginning. But two, I am a visual learner, not an auditory learner. So I struggle even listening to audiobooks or the radio because I like to see things with my own eyes. I struggle just listening. So it'll be interesting to know whether I can adapt to dictation. But I really want to succeed at this because during November, I'm going to be right, trying to write 50,000 words in 30 days. And some of those days, I'm not going to be able to use my computer because I'm going to be going into the backcountry on different weekend trips. And I can't bring my computer and I don't really want to have to write by hand because writing by hand to then type it up on my computer after will just take more time. So it'd be really useful if I can just bring my phone and use voice to text. I want to do this now so that way I'm not trying to do dictation with no experience day of. I am going to be treating this a little bit like an experiment. Um, I'm going to be writing flashback scenes for my story. So during the outlying process, I also brainstormed a few flashbacks that I think will be really important for revealing my character and things that have happened in the past that has made her who she is today or at the start of the story. Um, I'm not going to be counting these words towards my drafting goal in November, that 50,000 words, but I also think it's part of the process of preparing because it'll help me really figure out my character, get into her voice, get into her head. So my plan is to start by writing for 25 minutes on my computer the way I usually do so I can get a baseline of about how many words I can get in that time frame. So that way when I go to dictation I have something to compare against. But I do know that and I'm going to be starting a fresh flashback scene when I do the dictation. But there is, I think, going to be a learning curve of theoretically having written one of the flashback scenes. I'll have a better idea of the character and everything going into the dictation. So I'm kind of skewing the results towards making dictation more successful. But I'm not just taking the results at face value of how many words per unit time or whatever, I'm going to think of it more holistically because I don't get paid to write. I'm not published. So when I write, I do it because I love it. And even if I can get a lot of words down for dictation, and even if they're not bad first draft words, if I'm not enjoying the process, it's kind of a moot point. With that in mind, we're going to just get started. I'm sure this intro is long enough as is. So I'm going to start with my 25 minutes of writing, report back how many words I got, and then we're going to jump into dictation. Welcome back. I have finished my 25 minutes of writing on my computer. I honestly forgot how hard drafting was. And so the beginning was a little slow, um, but I was able to get into it by the end. And I got 713 words in 25 minutes, which I feel like is pretty average for me. So I'm happy with that. And 
we'll see how dictation goes. So for dictation, I'm thinking about trying it two different ways. So first, I'm going to just sit down exactly how I would when I'm writing and just try to dictate, which I think will be really tough, um, especially because I'm apparently not feeling very fluid with drafting right now. But the second way I'm going to do it, I'm going to do a second 25 minutes. I'm going to do it while walking because I have, there was a period of time in my life where I did listen to a decent amount of audiobooks while I was on hikes because I found that by moving, my brain could kind of stop trying to overly focus on anything and I was able to take in the audiobook. So we're going to first try just sitting here as is. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous. And I feel like I may end up just sitting here staring at the screen for a really long time. But again, I'm trying to remind myself that it's okay. I can write terribly if that's what it takes. I'm just trying to get a feel for this and see if I like it. Let's do it. Let's do this dictation, see what happens. <laughs> So I've just finished my first round of dictation ever. I have mixed feelings. I literally wanted to quit multiple times. I kept looking at the clock and I was like, when is this going to be over? I don't know how much I liked it. And I feel like when I'm writing, I have more control going back and adding like paragraphs and descriptions as I'm going when it occurs to me, oh, I just went through this section way too fast. But with dictation, I very much was just plowing on ahead. So it's really messy. Um, and I do want to spend a bit more time cleaning this up before moving on to our next dictation attempt. Um, I got 817 words, which shocked me because it wasn't updating. I'm using Word for dictation. I wanted to do the dictation in Scrivener, but I have a PC and apparently you can only do the Scrivener dictation with a Mac. So I used Word and I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. A little slow the whole time. So that kind of threw me off. And my main character, her name is Beth. And I feel like she has been named everything but Beth when I was <laughs> writing this. So they at first had her as bath and then also birth. It's really messy right now. So my plan is I'm gonna go through and time myself and see how long it takes for me to clean this up because I think that's also important because I got 817, which is about what I got when I did the writing, but it takes time to clean this up as well. But I think for a first go, I'm pretty happy with how many words I got. So I'm just going to quickly go through, edit it, and check back in into how much extra time that took. And then we'll move on. I have just finished editing through this first dictation. Um, and it took me just over 11 minutes. And my word count decreased to 771 words. So there's times where I try a few different words, so I've deleted that, or where I would try to say new line to get it to go to a new line and it just didn't work and it would just put in new line. Um, so I feel like 11 plus 25, so now it's 36 minutes for 770 words. So it's making it less efficient than the writing, but of course this is my first time doing dictation. So we'll see with the next strategy and I feel like I was also getting frustrated with the writing and using this word dictation. So on this next one when I go for my walk and when I do it I'm going to use my phone because I have an Android so I can use Google Assist or something like that so I'm hoping that that's a bit more easy to use and I'm going to try and spend less time 
thinking about what it's looking like and just going for it. Um, even this one here, I do still, I still would want to do quite a bit of editing to it, but of course I'd also want to do a bit, of, quite a bit of editing to the first writing, dra the drafting I did um, initially. So we will try the walking next before I come to any conclusions. So catch you then. 25 minutes walking with my phone, dictating. I'm just about to start my dictation. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do a fun little montage because I'm using my phone for the dictation and it's usually what I film with. But I also want to mention, because I've been trying to come up with a few points for what I want in this scene before I start writing or dictating it, just so I have a direction. And this might skew the experiment results, but when I had my list of five flashbacks to choose from, I've been choosing the easiest one each time. So it was easier to come up with ideas, whereas the one I've chosen now is a bit more pivotal. Like it matters a bit more what they're conversing about and what's the, the driver for the tension in the scene. So I don't know exactly what I want that catalyst to be. So this scene may end up being not scrapped, but heavily edited purely for the sake of not knowing exactly what I want at the moment. So I just wanted to put that out there before I started because as much as I want this to be a real experiment, it, it isn't the neatest. It isn't the neatest experiment. So let's, sorry for so much shaky cam footage, but I have just finished my dictation. I'm on my way back. I didn't think about the fact that I was walking potentially 25 minutes out and just gonna have to walk the same distance back. If I thought about it, maybe I would have stopped and turned halfway through. Doesn't matter though. I finished the scene and I actually, I came to a natural finish point before the tw 25 minutes was up. And I debated if I should keep going, if I should try and maybe start a new flashback, but I don't have any of the flash other flashbacks with me. So I decided to stop. So I did it for 18 minutes and I just checked on Google Docs and I got 1,012 words, which is crazy. So my plan is I'm gonna go home, edit the words. And by edit, I really just mean put in the quotations around the dialogue because I don't really do that and kind of clean things up. The editing has nothing to do with like developmental line editing, adding any descriptions or anything like that. And so, We'll see, once I do all that, if this dictation went better than my initial writing. And I felt really good with this dictation. There wasn't a lot going on. It's like two people talking. And so I wonder if as scenes get more complicated or I need more description, whether dictation will work as well. But I'm going to do the final editing, calculate my words per minute for the three different attempts and I'll check back with you and final thoughts. It is moment of truth time. I have tallied up all of my words per minute for my three attempts. So to remind you, the first attempt was just normal drafting, what I would normally do when I'm writing a book the first time. And I wrote for 25 minutes and I got seven, 713 words. The second attempt, finally dictating and I did it just sitting at the table trying to do it. I did it for 25 minutes and I got 817 words but I had to do a lot of cleanup because there were words written incorrectly and stuff like that. So that took 11 minutes to do all of that and my words decreased to 771 and then I did a third attempt dictating again this time walking. I did 18 minutes of walking and got 1,012 words, and then when I came back, 
It took about eight minutes to clean up all of those words and it decreased just a few words down to 1,006. So before I give you the final tallies, and if you're good at math in your head, you've probably already figured out which one was the best one. But I did want to talk about some of the caveats to this whole experiment. Um, and that is that I've just started getting back into drafting. I've been doing a lot of editing recently on some of my other stories I've been writing, but I haven't really sat down and like written out new words for a new story. And so I, there might be a slight bias where with each attempt, I was getting more into the story, more into the characters, and it was just getting easier. Second is that each of those attempts, I wrote a different flashback scene. The difficulty of writing that flashback scene could differ between them. There was dialogue in each of those flashbacks and varying amounts of description, but there may be some bias there. Um, again, uh, third thing, I didn't go into too much description, so who knows if it'll be as easy to dictate description because a lot of what I was doing was dialogue, which I feel like innately is easier to do with dictation. And then the fourth caveat is that I'm still learning voice commands. So it could be that I get even better at dictating as time goes on, as I learn to use words like new line to go to the new line, or I figure out how to put in quotations as I'm going. So just wanted to put that out there. But first attempt, normal drafting, I got 28.5 words per minute. Second attempt, dictating at the table, I got 21.4 words per minute. And the third attempt, dictating while walking, I got 38.7 words per, min per minute. So almost 10 more words per minute than I did drafting, which I'm really pleased with. I thought I was going to suck at dictating and it was going to be a complete mess. And my conclusion was going to be never will I ever do this. Now, thinking from a more holistic perspective, I don't know if I enjoyed dictating better or not than normal writing. And that is a huge deal for me because I want my writing process to be enjoyable. But who knows, if I do more dictating in the future, I may get better and I may start to enjoy it more. But what I will say is that in times when I don't think that I can physically be on my computer, I think dictating is a great alternative, especially if I just like have my phone, no service, that kind of thing. But Something that I'll have to bear in mind is that I was able to go in and clean up this stuff right away, like within half an hour of the writing. But if I'm doing it where I'm multiple days dictating, it may be harder for me to then clean it up because there's words that are incorrect, sentences are just fragmented. And while it's still fresh in my mind, it's easy to clean up. But as time goes on, it may be more difficult to do that if I don't re remember exactly what I was trying to do. So I would say I am pleasantly surprised by dictating. I want to keep trying. I think if I have the choice, I probably draft on my computer, but you know, I could spice it up with some dictating every now and again, or when it's the only option, I'm more than happy to do that. So I hope this video was useful. If you're thinking about di trying dictating, go for it. I felt so silly starting when I first started sitting there at the table, there was a lot of long pauses that I edited out that you didn't see where I was just like, ah, I don't really want to know what to do. And I did notice the longer I was dictating, I would start out like really robotic. I was like, she walked to the door. And then by the end, it was a bit more fluid. But anyways, it's fun. Not, nothing about this is serious. And um, yeah, thanks for making it to the end of the video. And I'll see you next week.